Hi boys and girls and welcome to lesson eight fluency video. For this video or for this lesson you're going to need your whiteboard and marker and you're also going to need your learn book with the blue trim. If you're not ready for that go ahead and pause this video so that you can grab those materials. All right now that you've grabbed those materials let's practice our skip counting. First we're going to practice skip counting by three forwards and backwards. So zero, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Oh, backwards a little, is a little trickier. So 30, 27, 24, 21, 18, 15, 12, nine, six, three, zero. That one's definitely trickier. You really got to think about it. All right, now counting by fours going forward. Zero, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, all right, let's go down. So we're at 40, 36, 32, 28, 24, 20, 16, 12, 8, 4, 0. I almost got tripped up on that one too. So good job staying with me. Okay, I'm going to share my screen and we are going to do some problems on our whiteboard. Okay, Let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, so dirty. All right, I'm gonna draw an array. All right, my first question is how many groups of two do you see? All right, you should see three groups. One, two, three, or three rows. I want you to now pause the video and write two multiplication problems for this array. All right, now that you've written two multiplication problems for this array, let me show you the answer. You could have said three times two equals six or two times three equals six. Both of them have the answer of six. Okay, all right, how did you do? Let's try another one. All right, how many groups of five do you see in this array? The correct answer is three groups of five. One, two, three. Go ahead and pause the video and write down two multiplication sentences that match this array. Go ahead and pause, try it yourself. All right, now that you tried it on your own, you should have written three times five equals 15 or five times three equals 15. You should have written both of those. They are both correct. Okay, now I wanna show you Kind of a tricky problem, but once you learn the answer, you're gonna think it's so simple. Four times two equals two times what? Take a minute to think about what would go in there. Well, we know that four times two is eight. 
So I need to know two times what equals eight. So two, four, six, eight. The answer is four. But if you look carefully at the pattern, they both have two. They both have the multiplication sign. So they should both have the four. And at the end, they should both equal the same number. All right, let's try another one, just like that. I'm gonna leave that one up there. Nine times five equals five times blank. Take a second to fill that in. You should have gotten nine. Nine times five is 45. Nine fingers count by five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And this should also equal 45. They both have a five. They both have a multiplication sign and they both have a nine. All right, let's try another. Three times six equals six times what? You should have gotten three. That is something called the commutative property, which we're gonna discuss in this lesson. All right, now we're done with our whiteboard and whiteboard marker. I'd like you to get out your learn book and I want you to try the application problem on your own. It says, children sit in two rows of nine on the carpet for math time. Aaron says, we make two equal groups. Fatish says, we make nine equal groups. Who is correct? Explain how you know using models, numbers, and words. So I would like you to try it. You're gonna draw it out. Think about how you would write the multiplication sentence. And then at the bottom, you need to tell me who is correct. Is Aaron correct? Is Batish correct? Are they both correct? Or are neither correct? Because those are options as well. So go ahead, pause the video, and I do want you to try it on your own. All right, now that you've hopefully tried it on your own, let's go over the answer together. So two rows of nine. So we know to draw that this way, two rows of nine. I'm gonna do X's. Good mathematicians count one more time. I'm gonna do that for both rows. Okay, so there's my two rows of nine. Aaron says they make two equal groups. Yeah, I see that right here, two rows of nine. So Aaron is correct if we circle it this way. But what about Vitesh or Vitesh? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Are there nine equal groups? There actually is. If we circle them this way, we have one equal group of two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Vatish is also correct. There's nine groups of two and Aaron see, sees two groups of nine. So they're both correct. So hopefully down here, you said they're both correct or you said Aaron and Vitesh or Vitesh are both correct.
I know this because these are kind of our three magic words when it comes to explaining our math. We say our answer, then you have to say how you know. I know this because, or I know because there can be two groups of nine as well as nine groups of two. They both equal 18. So hopefully you had something written along those lines. If not, or if you had a hard time with this, or if you made a mistake, that's okay. Pause it here. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. and make sure you get that written down. All right, thanks for watching.